Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, it is that time again for empties. I got a whole huge bag here of empty products. You guys know every quarter, every season, I love to start off the new season with my empties because you kick out the old and bring in the new. So I am going to share with you guys my thoughts on all my empties products, my favorites, ones I didn't like, and if you like these kind of videos, check it out. All right, so I have very little makeup stuff. I have tons of skincare and I have a good amount of hair products that I want to share with you guys. So I think I'm going to start off with the makeup because I really don't have too much. All right, so for, actually I'm gonna show you something before I do makeup. So I actually take a multivitamin from Tone It Up. You guys have seen me use this multivitamin before. I absolutely love it. I really like the fact that it's a gummy. I really don't like swallowing pills too much. I just, ugh, I just don't like to swallow pills. So gummy forms, they have other vitamins as well. Check this out, it's really, really, really good multivitamin. And that was Barkley running up the stairs. Um, the dog, there's neighbor dogs that are barking outside. So anyways, all right, so that's all the like the miscellaneous stuff I have. Now for makeup, I, like I said, I really don't have much makeup. Um, I do have two primers. One is by Skin Incorporated. This one is their Glow One. Now this one, the product itself was I liked it. I really did like it. It was this clear serum in here with little beads and when you pump it obviously it blended together. It was really nice on the skin. My makeup went on really nice. However, to get the product out of here was a pain in the butt. When I would squirt it once, it would come out barely and then when I would try to squirt it again, it was like little prickles like little dots, like pin drops worth of product. It was such a pain to get this product out. I was getting really frustrated. So even though uh, I liked the product and it really was good um, as a primer for my makeup, it was too much for me. I don't think I would get this one again. The other product I got as a primer is by Benefit Cosmetics. This is our hydration primer. I absolutely love this primer. I actually um, had their pour one, but I don't have a problem with my pores, but I just like the feeling of the primer and how your makeup goes. It's really silky and I just, so when I got this in, I believe it was a Glam Bag X. I was so excited to try this. I just, it's so silky. I just love primers that look matte and they're very, very silky and just glide on. Like your face feels like silk. It's like the, you know, like you need a good primer to put your makeup on. And when you have a good primer and it's just like all silky and it's like you're painting a canvas, it works so much well with makeup. And it, this one works really well with using like my Perlice products and my Yensa products. Um, so it's not just beneficing to use just benefit products. Um, Cause I know a lot of times when I use a primer, it, I have to use that primer for that foundation. Otherwise it kind of like clumps a little bit, but this primer, like I said, is really, really, really good. All right. I have, I don't know, I probably talked to you guys about this mascara before by Kosas. This is probably my absolute favorite mascara. This is the second time I've had this and I have another one upstairs. So this is what the brush looks like. I just really love this product. Most of the time I use this mascara when I go out because it really does full in the eyelashes and it curls them really nice. Um, I just, this one's called the Big Clean. I just, I really love this mascara. If you haven't tried this one, it's not that expensive. You should check this mascara out. All right. I got this. Um, I started using um, uh, translucent powder after I would put my makeup on because I noticed I was getting a little bit oily in the winter. Um, so I got this one by Ciate London. Just a basic, basic powder. Love it. Went on smooth. One thing I like about um, powders, finishing powders, is I love when they have a big lid. I It doesn't make a difference if there's not too much product in here. Um, I would ha rather have them make a 
bigger lid than have extra product in there because with this, um, I have a big brush and it, it was perfect size. The powder went on really great. Um, made me look not as oily because I know one of the current serums that I'm using and I literally just finished this kind of made my uh, skin look a little bit oily and when I would put this on it would just clean it right back up. So if you haven't tried this um, powder, I would highly re recommend this. And then lastly, and it's really hard to get the rest of this product out, I actually got, and this product took forever to use. I probably even started using this in the fall. Um, by Hemp's, their Ultra Moisturizing Herbal Lip Balm. I cannot get the rest of this out, it's really hard, but this product, there's a lot in here, and I it just really did wonders for my lips. They were always nice and soft, but yeah, I really like this lip balm, so if you guys um, ever get a chance to get this, I would highly recommend that. So, that's all my makeup. So, like I said, not too much. So. We are going to move on to, let's do hair care. All right, hair stuff. So, have a, a good amount, but pretty much everything I, I didn't not like nothing. I pretty much either really liked it or it was, you know, decent. I don't know if I would get it again, but it wasn't a bad product. So, I'm going to start off with, I always think I butchered this name. Um, Fikai, Fiaki, I don't know. The, I always use this brand. I can never say it and I can never remember how to say it, but this is their um, high hydration, high shine moisturizing shampoo. Really, really loved it. It really moisturized my hair. I actually have, for those of you who don't know, I have extensions. So, my, I mean, my hair is pretty long. My hair's like, I mean, it's like, two inches shyer than my extensions, but I got extensions like almost a year ago and I probably won't, after these are done, I probably won't get them again, but I know my hairdresser tells me, you know, you really, really need a lot of moisture and hydration with the extensions and make them last longer. And she's noticed that it looks like I've, and I really don't use too much heat on it. They look pretty much new, she said. So really, really good shampoo. So I knew it probably was doing his job. And then I actually have, and this is actually the second time I've used both these masks. I have, this one is their color treated mask. And then this one is just their super strength mask. And I've used them, like I said, this actually might be the third time. I've gotten these um, as add-ons in my FabFitFun. I really, really like these masks. Um, I think this one says three to four minutes and this one says only put it on for one or two, but I literally leave it on for 20 minutes because what I do is I will wash my hair in the morning and then I will put these masks on and then as the masks are in my hair, I'll make coffee, I'll go ahead and wash my face, do all my serums. I won't put my makeup on until I rinse these out, but by that time it's probably like 15, 20 minutes, so that's what I do, but these masks are really, really, really good. Um, and then this product, it's by R & Co. I got this in a kit. I don't know if I would buy it. It's their thickening styling foam. I do think it was thickening my hair for, to lift with the roots. But I don't know if it's... I'm not a mousse person. So it's not a bad product, but I'm just not a mousse person. So I did like it. Like I said, it did give volume. It did thicken up my hair. But I don't know if I would buy it again. All right. Another one by R & Co. is their Waterfall moisture shine lotion so i have two leave-in conditioners this one i would use after i sprayed a detangler in my hair and i always want to put a leave-in conditioner in my hair this is what i would use i have i forgot what the other one is um but there's waterfall and there's like another high moisture lotion to me they're pretty much the same um it just it's the smell they don't smell very you know different but i like when i would buy these i would always buy them on my fat fun add-ons and they were at a discount rate so that's why um I, any of their leave-in conditioners are really really good i just whatever's on sale is the one i would go ahead and buy but like i said waterfall is really really good and then this one by um Earth's Nectar. This is their coconut curls leave-in conditioner. This is a lot of coconut oil. I absolutely love this. So I would actually use this when my hair, I have thick naturally curly hair and I can't 
have my natural curliness because of the extensions. The extensions are straight, so I just normally either straighten it or just have the nice little curl wave. Um, so I'm like, well, I don't want to just leave this product sitting here until, you know, a couple years from now, if I decide to go ahead and take these extensions out, or that's how long, you know, these extensions last, because they last about one to two years. So I decided, and this was towards my end of my hair care, is the night before I wash my hair, I tie it up, and I actually would put this, in my hair all my ends tie it up and in the morning my hair was really really soft little greasy but i noticed that when i would wash it out it would actually um my hair my hair just felt softer so this i actually used more as a treatment um that's my trail of thought um i would use this as a treatment more so than just leaving it as a leave-in conditioner but it, i would leave it in overnight so i would highly recommend if you find a conditioner try this one or one with coconut oil if you really want to put extra moisture back into your hair the night before you um wash your hair but this product was really really good and it actually lasted quite a long time for me all right another one that i got in my ipsy was this protector spray very big um sample i would use this before i would go ahead and blow dry my hair I don't know nothing really stood out to me um it's just to me like a normal heat protector spray but i mean all, all the heat protectors i pretty much use i feel like none of them are like that bad where i would never use them again would i go out and just randomly buy this probably not i think this one's pretty like pretty expensive um but it wasn't a bad product so if you do get this in like your ipsy or anything to cho choose from you can go ahead and try this i mean like i said it's not a bad product i just don't know if i would use it again because or go out of my way to buy it um just because it's a little bit more on the expensive side. All right, I actually love dry shampoo. And when I blow dry my hair, I actually, when I put it into sections, after I do the blow dry of that one section, I actually put in my dry shampoo right away before waiting until my hair is oily. I do it that day when I'm blow drying my hair after washing it. I actually really like using um, the powder dry shampoo for this. So I have this one. I'm thinking it's by, is it Vior? Is that how you say it? I'm not really 100% sure. This is the first product I ever used by them. Um, I forget, I think I ran out of dry shampoo and this was an add-on for a FabFitFun. But little goes a long way. This took forever, forever to use. And I just noticed that, um, it, it did really work. I actually have the R Co powder version. And I actually really like this one better. Um, but yeah, it's it's maybe because it's a dry shampoo and conditioner. I didn't even realize that. But if you guys ever try, need a dry shampoo that's powder, I would highly recommend this one. All right. And then for those of you who don't know how I curl my hair, I really try to stay away from heat. The only time I do heat is I blow dry my hair straight after I wash it. And then I take my flat iron. I flat iron any um, waves that I have, especially for my, um, natural hair. Cause my hairdresser says, you know, you need to take care when you take care of your extensions, you need to blow dry them at least, um, to smooth everything out at least once a week. So that's what I do. So I actually use to curl my hair. I use my heatless curls. So what I would do, um, before I would put my heatless curls in the night before what I would use is, um, two, two ways. One, I would actually First, put in some conditioner, mostly on the ends, wrap them up, and then I would follow with this um, sea salt spray by Foxy Bay, which I really, really love to kind of just give like that extra hold, um, just so it sticks more. Yeah, so I would use this um, just to kind of hold the curl just a little bit longer, almost like a hairspray, but I mean, it was so soft enough where you would run your fingers through it, and it smells really good. I love, love, love this spray. Not crunchy, like I said, soft. So if you're looking for a sea salt spray, this I would highly, highly recommend it. And they're not really expensive too. I love Foxy Bay products. But now, um, after I was done with that one, um, I also had a texture bomb. So then what I would use for the texture bomb instead was I would, again, put um, the moisture, um, the leave-in conditioner in my hair, and then I would put this um, Velvet Curtain by R Co in just a little bit, so then this would hold it. So like I say, spray after I would have uh, wrapped in the heatless curls. And then, um, but if before the heatless curls, if I was using a lotion more product, I would put that in first and then the heatless curls. I did like this. Um, I actually have used this quite a bit a couple times. Even when your hair is naturally curly, I would use this. Um, 
more so the next day after sleeping and my hair was actually curly just to kind of like give it like that extra like little boost um again but this is actually what i um, am using right now um you put your fingers through it it literally like combs right through it actually um is a really good product because i don't i don't like when you when i have products that are crunchy i i need my hair soft even though like my natural like crimpy crunchy curls like i don't want them i just want them like nice and soft i can't handle that like crunchiness and if you hear banging my son is playing with his toys upstairs and he's making just a little bit noise so sorry for that but um he just wanted to go off play by himself and i wanted to record this video for you guys all right and then i have one more product um a hair oil and i have two of them so um the first one I got is, because I love r Co products, they're one of my favorite hair companies, um, so I wanted to try their two-way mirror. I do like this a lot, but a lot of the oils I've been using are just like typical oils for me. I would actually prefer this one second over the current one that I'm going to show you. This one, um, it's hair oil and C bd treatment and styling order this is um it says use me hair salon hair simplified this one i got in an ipsy bag as one of the products that they sent me i love 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 because it's not too oily like i feel like this one's a little bit more oily than this one this one was really soft on my hair that i actually purchased a second one as an add-on i think it was like nine bucks to add it on in one of my ipsy bags but this oil is absolutely amazing my hair did not look greasy when i would apply it on the ends um neither neither one did but i just feel like this one was a little bit more watery based oil and this one was a little bit more oily oily based oil so but that is all the hair care products that i use so now i'm gonna move on to my skincare all right skincare okay so i i have quite a bit i don't know lately i've been going through a lot of skincare i don't know why so um first things first so i got these this works um like it says rose water and mint infused pads to gently remove makeup i'm gonna say right now this mm, this product I did not like at all when I got these pads I mean I opened this right away when I got it they were completely dry um I mean they weren't so dry they they were a little bit there was a little bit moisture in there but when I was trying to get my makeup off I could not get, get my makeup off whatsoever so I don't know if you guys I don't know if maybe it was just the packaging because it was a sample I think I had 12 of these and I couldn't even use the rest of them I only um I threw it out and I like I only used like four and I tried I tried but if you guys have tried this let me know what you guys thought maybe if it's in a jar or something um but i like i said did not really care for them all right i got a couple um face cleansers i have four of them this is crazy i've never like gone through so many face cleansers before ever but um i have skin and co i love skin and co i love their um toner but this is their cleansing foam so i got this um i do like it the only thing with um Lately, what I've been using is I've been actually using a brush to wash my face. This one's kind of hard to use a brush because it's a foam, but I did feel like my face was very, very cleansed after this and it smells so good. And then, all right, so the next one is by Khaleesi. I love, love this. I get this all the time. It's their Better Being uh, Clean Face Coffee Cleanser. It's a little bit of a scrub, but I don't feel like it's so much of a scrub that I would categorize it in the scrub part uh category i would actually just have this as more of a cleanser category but really does cleanse my face um i didn't try this one with um the face brush because i actually got this um this is probably the first one that i use and then the skin and co one um but really really good you guys need to check them out um Murad was the next one this one is their hydration cleanser and it's also exfoliating i didn't feel like it really exfoliated i really did feel like it did hydrate my skin um but this one I actually used with my cleansing brush and it was really awesome. Um, but it says to use it two, three times a week. I actually used it every single day. Cause like I said, like I actually didn't notice it was an exfoliating cleaner until like probably halfway through the product and it wasn't irritating my skin. So I feel like this could actually be, um, safe to use every single day. Um, but like I said, it did hydrate my face. Um, it is a little bit more on the expensive side, but I actually got this in one of my, I think it was an Ipsy Glam Bag X products. And then I would have to say my favorite facial cleanser is the one by Tula. This is their face cleanser. This is actually a deluxe sample. Um, 
that I got, but I actually have the full size bottle, but I actually really, really, really love this cleanser. So if you guys haven't tried out Tula products, I actually am really getting into them right now. I think I have the cleanser, I have a moisturizer, I have a vitamin C, I have toning pads, I have the face primer. Um, I haven't really tried the other ones yet. Oh, and a moisturizer. This is the only product I've tried by them. But I, and so far, like I absolutely, absolutely love it. So if you know of any Tula products that are really, really good that I haven't mentioned because I can't remember the other ones that I have, comment down below and let me know what you've tried by them. But yeah, I do really, really like this cleanser. All right, scrubs. So two scrubs I have. Um, I think this one is by Polar. Um, it's their Ice Pure scrub. La Even though this is just a sample, I probably had about like five or six um, uses out of this. This scrub was awesome, awesome. I'm not sure how much it runs though. Um, it's a very gentle scrub, but yeah, it just, this one really, really felt like it was scrubbing my face. So if you guys ever get a, ch a chance to try this product, I would highly recommend it. Um, and then there was this one and I got this cause I needed another scrub and I'm trying to remember, I don't know if this one was really, oh yeah, this one was, it was okay. It wasn't like on my top top list um but i needed more scrub i'm running out of scrub um to wash my face and this one is by higher education grinding away skin polishing scrub i like a little bit more harshness of a scrub so it really feels like it's scrubbing my face over here in my forehead especially when the summer months come and i start to tan and i start to peel like i really need to go ahead and get like all this like you know scrubbed away so it was a decent scrub but i like i said i probably would use this more so probably for the winter or the fall rather than the summer Probably even the spring. Probably the spring I would go ahead and, and use this. But um, like I said, not too bad of a scrub. And then um, Elemis, their apricot toner. So not a bad toner, but it's it's really funny. Like I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not really a fan of toners with the spray, just because I like to you know. I like to use a cotton pad and actually blend it in my skin. I like to use like the mist for more so for your spray. But it's so funny because it says direction. Moisten cotton wool pad and gently wipe over face after cleansing. But it comes in a little spray bottle. But um, so I thought that was weird. But I actually really did like this toner. Um, it's not my favorite toner. I love Skin and Co's toner. Um, but all right, sorry, they were getting a little little too loud. Um but yeah, I like this this toner. It wasn't too bad. I probably just would use it as cotton. And I, I didn't. I just used it as a spray. And then I would go ahead and um, use my cotton pad with it. But it wasn't that bad of a cleanser. I know Elemis is a little bit more on the expensive side. Um, but I got this, like I said, in an Ipsy Glam Pack X. So that's why I like those bags. Because I can try all these products. And I love, sh like, I love doing my empties with you guys. Because I can tell you what I like and what I don't like. It, especially ones that are really, really expensive products because I don't want to waste my money on expensive products. What if somebody, you know, I, I love reviews. So that's why I love doing this empties video with you guys. Um, all right. I have two hydration sprays. Um, one is this Hydra Mist. This one has green tea and rose hip oil. I, this product's really good. I actually had their moisturizer. I've never used these guys before and the moisturizer was super, super good. Um, but I, after I do my toner, I do a little bit of rosé spray or just some kind of spray on my face and this is what I would use or this is what I use. I got in a, I want to say glossy box. And then Laura Gala, their Spackle Mist Coconut Water. Oh, this one smelled so, so good. So this one I would actually highly recommend as well. I Actually, now they're real, now they're singing. Um, this one I would actually highly recommend. So um, if you have a chance to get this product, I would. All right, so next product, pro I almost said project. Next product, I have a hydrating oil. Oh my goodness. This is probably the best oil I have ever, ever used. It is more on the expensive side, but I would definitely recommend this product it is oshia their hydrating oil oh my goodness i like oils that don't really feel like an oil when you put it on your face but it is an oil this was a water-based oil i can't say enough about it i felt like my face was very hydrated it wasn't oily for the rest of my products um but oh my gosh the, I can't like say enough about this one. This one you guys have to try. Now, like I said, it is more on the expensive side. 
However, I want to say this product, like normally when I use a product, I use, you know, two or three pro uh, pumps. This one, you just need to really use just one pump. That's how good it is. And I would say maybe four months, maybe this product was like four or five months that um, I used it. Um, <laughs> I'm losing my train of thought right now because my son's next to me singing. Sorry guys, um, but you know, it's mom life. Um, but yeah, no, like I said, if you guys have not tried this product, you need to try it. All right, serums. Okay, so I have two serums. One is a daytime and one is a nighttime. So both of them I actually really, really like. Um, I don't know if I would go out and buy it again, but they weren't bad serums. So I have this one, Balance Me one, this is the one I would use during the day. I think I've had a product from them before. I can't remember that the the label looks very familiar. And um, it, like I said, it was a very good product. It This one didn't last that long. I wanna say maybe this was only like a month, month and a half worth of a product. Um, it says to do three to five drops. And I feel like I had to use like five drops at a time. So I just feel like this product was a little bit more um, didn't go like how the oil that I showed you like a little goes a long way. This one, it was just like I did need to use quite a bit, but it wasn't a bad product. Like I still like felt like my face was hydrated and I noticed my skin is still um, pretty much the same. Like I will say with um, products that I use, especially with my skin, if I don't notice a bad change and everything's the same, to me the product still works like the product from before. Now if I notice I use a product and it gets worse, that's when I notice, um, you know, that obviously not to use it, or if it actually improves even more, that's when I notice like, okay, this is a good product as well. Now, if I notice like a product brings me back to where I was and I'm still satisfied, I still consider it a good product. Just the ones that really like bring it back to where like my skin looks like crap. Can't be blunt about that. So this one I have, and I did try their eye cream and I do like their eye cream. This is their sleep serum. So this one I would use in the evening. And this one went, this one took forever to use. So um, this product um, I would recommend for the evening time. Can you see it? So yeah, so this product, um, like I said, I would use at night. I try not to use too many products at night. Um, normally I do like, I actually, barely wear makeup unless I like fully wear makeup I'll use like makeup remover and stuff but I use like a cleansing water and then a toner and then an oil not an oil an oil actually I should say an oil or a serum night based product and then a nighttime oil that's it I don't use that much at night so I would use this as like my serum as my oil for the night but it was actually really really good I would definitely use that one again um and that's it for serums Moisturizers. I actually went through moisturizers quite a bit, and there's actually a couple reasons why. Um, my, the first one I use, I tried it when I get a product. If I end up having cleanser, and then I get another product like a moisturizer, I try to use them together. So I might stop with another product, and that's why I have a couple moisturizers extra. Um, so I actually ended up getting this one by Khaleesi when I was already in the middle of one of my moisturizers. So this is their hydration or their moisturizer. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Little goes a long way. Um, it's for, it's a whip moisturizer for normal to dry skin, but I actually use this with the cleanser, so that's why I actually stopped using one of my other products to use this one. And then, that one was my nighttime. This is the product that I actually needed to finish up um, after I used this one. This is a hydration moisturizer. This one, it was jelly. That's that one spray. This is the very first product I ever got by them. This moisturizer was awesome. I think my favorite types of moisturizers are more on the watery jelly side than like the thickening side. And this one was, it was awesome. So um, I actually stopped using this to do the Khaleesi one with the face wash. And then I ended up getting the spray, so then the spray, and I use this with this. But this took forever to go through, uh, but it's, it's a really good moisturizer. All right, and then I have two by Kate Somerville. Um, one is just a regular moisturizer, and the other one is goat milk. So these are both the products. Um, I think I got these in glossy boxes. 
Um, but I used this one first. I actually, I don't know. It, nothing like stood out to me. And actually what was really nice is I don't like these type of moisturizers. I like to squeeze them out. But I actually got a tool that's like a little spatula now that actually gets the product out. So now I don't mind these kind of moisturizers. But this one was just, eh, okay. I didn't see anything like that stood out. Um, I would have to say that the goat milk one was a little bit better. However, I I think I was just sick and tired of this brand. I don't know why. I just I think I was just sick and tired of the brand that I ended up using this on the heels of my foot. That was they were very very dry and actually the hydration it worked. So if you're you have really really dry face or dry skin on your face, then the good this is a really good product. So I just feel like in my case, like my skin's not very very dry, that this really doesn't benefit me. And that's why it actually benefited me more on my feet than it did my face. So, yeah. Um, and then I have this one. I use this one for night. This is a day and night cream. However, I just use it strictly at night because, like I said, I have so many. I feel like lately I've been getting a lot of moisturizers. This one right here. I've never heard of this brand before. If it focuses, kind of. There we go. QMS. Never heard of this one. But um, it's a day and night cream. But like I said, I just use this one at night because I have so many other moisturizers that I just needed to, um, you know, use that one more so towards the night. All right, I have two more products, face masks and um, some um, like growth products. So I'm gonna go, you know what, before I get to the face masks, I'm gonna do the uh, growth products. I actually have um, these by Vagamore. I'm trying to get this this way their lash serum and their um eyebrow serum i don't know i don't know if i'm a fan of these i don't know if you guys have used this before i have tried their hair serum one and i did feel like i would only put it like over here and i felt like my hair was um like my baby hairs were filling in a little bit more but i don't know about their eyebrow and their eyelash so like i will say for sure um i didn't notice really anything with the eyelash I would probably never get the eyelash again. If you guys have a recommendation for an eyelash um, treatment serum, please comment down below. But I'm really looking for an eyebrow one. So I've always had small, like I don't really pluck my eyebrows. I've always had small eyebrows. Um, and I just, like I said, I just never really pluck before. Like I'll just get a couple over here and that's where I pluck or maybe like randomly right over there. So I thought, you know, I tried this out for months and I did not see a difference. So if you guys have any recommendations for an eyebrow and a eyelash serum to help growth, please, please, please comment down below. All right, so last thing, masks. So I have, I only have one um, hydration. All right, no, this is what I use. I gotta like figure out. Cause when I do my face masks, I do like an exfoliating or a detox one first, followed by a brightening and a hydration one. So. Um, I'm going to show you the one, the least one I liked. So this one is an exfoliating, um, mask. Now this is a three in one treatment. You're supposed to leave it on for three to five minutes and then, um, add water massage. And it says to use twice a week, which I did. I wasn't a fan of this product at all. Um, I did feel you could, you could feel the tea tree. You could smell the tea tree. You could feel it. I did feel like it was tingling something not a bad tingle but i just don't know i just don't know if i really care for this product um but i got this i needed another mask and so this is a product that i picked out of my box but one of my favorite detoxing mud masks is by hey honey undercover i absolutely love this one i this is probably the third one i've had and i still have another one upstairs in my bathroom so if you guys need a good detox mask you will love this one all right, hydration and uh, brightening. So I had this one. This one actually took forever. This is a brightening one by Glow on Fifth Beauty. This one took forever to use. Little does go a long way. This is a really awesome brightening one. I would recommend that one again. And by Earth Harbor, their um, their hydration mask. This one, oh, this one took forever to use too. So I would actually recommend this one as well. Um, I do have better ones that I like, like I do like the Hey Honey one, the gold one, I can't think of the name right now, 
over these ones but if you guys do try these these are not bad products they are actually pretty good so um that is all of the masks and actually that is all the products that i actually have gone through for my winter season and now i'm moving on into spring to um but yeah all right so that is all of my empties like i said for my the winter that i use but i don't know what do you guys think what products have you used what do you like what don't you like i'm actually looking for a hydration mask and a new leave-in mask conditioner so if you guys can recommend anything for me to try please comment down below and that's it don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel i would love to have you on thursdays i always make these kind of specialty videos and i'll see you guys in my next one bye uh -huh.